it's been a year Windows 10 is out, and since it is free for Windows 7 and Windows 8, and this is why most of Windows 7 and Windows 8 users eagerly upgrade to Windows 10, without thinking of the consequences and after having upgraded to Windows 10, now they want to go back to Windows 7 or Windows 8, among performance, privacy and other Windows 10 related problems. I'm sure you will agree with me that Windows 7 has been the most used version of the Microsoft Windows operating system after Windows XP. Most of Microsoft users are used to Windows 7, and they find it difficult to adopt Windows 10, as the same case was with Windows 8 in 2012. This is the main reason, people don't like Windows 10 and want to downgrade to Windows 7 and Windows 8. In today's video. I'll be showing you how to downgrade to Windows 7 without any data loss and installation DVD or bootable USB drive. Before we start the downgrading process, there are some very important things you should be aware of. The downgrading process takes 15 to 30 minutes. You don't need installation disk or bootable USB to downgrade to Windows 7 from Windows 10. Once you have successfully upgraded to Windows 10, you can use it forever as well as you have still right to use Windows 7. You can uninstall Windows 7 and install Windows 10 as well as you can remove Windows 10 and install Windows 7 whenever you want. All you need to do is note down product keys. You can use a key finder software to do so. I would like to recommend you to go for a clean install instead of downgrading to Windows 7 from Windows 10. You may face a plethora of errors and problems. As far as my personal experience is concerned, Google Chrome was not working, nothing was loading in Chrome and also had to run into some other annoying problems. You will have to wait for at least 30 days to downgrade to Windows 7. If you don't want to wait for 30 days, then you can clean install Windows 7, though you can downgrade without lossing data. But all software you install after upgrade to Windows 10 are removed uninstalled after downgrade to Windows 7. I had installed Internet Download Manager and uTorrent after upgrading to Windows 10. And after downgrading to Windows 7, I had to reinstall Internet Download Manager and uTorrent. All torrents that uTorrent was downloading were vanished and I had to re-enter serial key to activate my copy of the Internet Download Manager. I highly recommend you, download all necessary drivers for Windows 7 before starting the downgrade process, especially video drivers, Ethernet and Wi-Fi drivers. Your video card, Ethernet and Wi-Fi may stop working after downgrade to Windows 7. Do not forget to note down serial or license codes of those software you bought and installed after upgrading to Windows 10. You will need them to activate later. I hope everything is now clear to you and you have prepared yourself. Let's begin the downgrading process. Click on Start menu. Click Settings. Click on Update and Security. Click Recovery. Here you can find Go Back to Windows 7 option to downgrade to Windows 7. Click Get Started. Tick Mark any of given options and click Next. Click No Thanks. Click Go Back to Windows 7. Please keep in mind. It will restart your PC and after restart, you cannot cancel or undo the downgrade process. The downgrading process takes 15 to 30 minutes. You don't need installation disk or bootable USB to downgrade to Windows 7 from Windows 10. Congratulations! We have successfully downgraded to Windows 7 without any data loss. Now you need to reinstall all those software that are not working. Install drivers for hardware that are not working. As well as you might have to make your preferred settings. I do hope today's video has been informative and helping to you and you've managed to downgrade to Windows 7. If I could not explain anything properly. You may ask any question below in the comment section of your problem as soon as possible. Stay tuned, stay blessed, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share.